If you're wondering what it costs to sell a home in the greater Seattle area, you've come to the right video. Hi, I'm Bob Wolverton. I'm with Pure Real Estate in Bellevue, Washington. Here on YouTube, I'm known as your Northwest Realty Advisor. You might be wondering what sort of fees and taxes you'll incur if you want to sell your home. Well, stick around and I'll give you all the details right after this eight second break. Everyone wants to know what fees and taxes are involved when selling their home. And normally, they find out either during a listing presentation from a real estate agent or when the escrow company prepares the closing cost estimates. Today, I'm gonna to give you a quick overview of the fees and taxes just to give you a rough idea of the numbers you should be planning on when you plan to sell your home. Now keep in mind, every situation is a bit different depending upon what day of the month you close on your sale or how much you still owe on your home and various things like that. But today, we'll hit on the major points so you'll have a ballpark idea. In our area, a very common sales price is $750,000. So in our first example, I'm going to assume we're selling a home in King County, Washington for $750,000. The next line you see is the broker's commission. This is the amount paid to both the buyer's agent and the listing agent. In this example, I use 3% for each side of the transaction, and this number is negotiable. In most cases, this is a maximum amount that you might pay. As you prepare to list your home, you may find other sellers in your neighborhood are commonly offering a 3% commission to the buyer buyer's broker, in essence your competition, is offering a 3% commission and you may want to take that into consideration when deciding how much you are going to offer to a buyer's broker for bringing a buyer to your listing. Generally the commission for a listing agent varies between an additional 1-3% to and that number is also negotiable. You will need to consider the services that you're receiving for the amount of commission you are paying to the listing agent. And beyond just services, you need to consider experience and expertise. It's very much like shopping for an attorney where some attorneys will charge $150 an hour and some will charge $300 an hour because the difference in price is based upon experience and expertise. You'll have to decide as to which level of expertise you're willing to pay for in your transaction. So generally your cost for real estate commissions is going to range somewhere between a total of 4 to 6% of the sales price. In this example, I'm showing the maximum of 6%. On the next line, we see the homeowner's policy of title insurance. This amount is based on the sales price of the home, and in essence, what you are doing is you are buying an insurance policy on the title of the property that insures the buyer against any clouds or defects in the title of the property you are selling. In this example, you can see this particular insurance policy will cost $2,070.77. On the next line, you see the escrow fee. You'll notice it says the escrow fee is a total of $2,277. This total fee is split 50-50 between the buyer and the seller. Therefore, in this column, you see $1,138.50, which is half of the escrow fee. The escrow fee is a fee from the escrow company who acts as a third-party intermediary who handles all the paperwork, transfers all the money, and makes sure all the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed and papers get filed and notarized where they need to be filed and notarized. And then the next line is real estate excise tax. In the year 2020, the state of Washington changed the rate of excise tax to a tiered system. It used to just be a flat rate of 1.78% of the sales price. Now it's a tiered system based on the sales price of the home. So the more expensive the home, the higher the percentage fee for the excise tax. In this case, for a $750,000 sales price, the excise tax paid to the state on this sale will be $12,450. Now there may be some additional adjustments to this final number that I'm not showing here, such as the property tax for the year will be prorated based on the closing date, which generally results in a small refund to the seller. Likewise, there might be a proration on the homeowner's insurance, which generally is a small credit to the home seller also. But these are all usually very small numbers and definitely won't be a deal breaker for the seller. The only other number that I'm not showing here is the payoff amount of the mortgage on the home. So from this proceeds number of $689,335, the seller would have to subtract the payoff amount of their mortgage balance, and that number will be the final amount of their proceeds from this sale. So other than the mortgage payoff amount, Total fees in this transaction are $60,664.27. So this gives you a general overview of some of the bigger expenses you're going to incur as a home seller for a $750,000 home. Roughly 8.1% of the sales price, not including the mortgage payoff amount. 
Now let's use an example assuming you were selling a home for $1.1 million. The percentage used for the broker's commission is the same as in the previous example, showing a maximum of 6% incurred 3% to both the listing office and the buyer's agent, shown here as the selling office. On the next line, you'll see an increase in the price of the homeowner's title insurance because again, that insurance policy is based on the value of the sale. You'll also see an increase in the escrow fee for the exact same reason, and again, this is split 50-50 between the two parties. And the real estate excise tax is quite a bit higher at $18,680. Again, the only other number I'm not showing here is the payoff amount of the mortgage on the home. So, from this proceeds number of $1,011,294, the seller would have to subtract the payoff amount of their mortgage balance, and that would be the final amount of their proceeds from this sale. So, other than the mortgage payoff amount, total fees in this transaction are $88,705.99. So, this gives you a general overview of some of the bigger expenses you're going to occur as a home seller for a $1.1 million home. Roughly 8.1% of the sales price in both cases, not including the mortgage payoff amount. Well, that music means we're out of time for today. I hope you found value in today's video. If you did, click that subscribe button and click that reminder bell. That reminder bell will notify you when I post new videos. If you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up. That tells Google's algorithm there is something of value in this video. And finally, please share this link with someone you know who can benefit from the information on this YouTube channel. You can find my email address and my telephone number in the description below and at the end of this video. Call me or email me. I'd love to hear from you and I'd love to represent you in your next real estate transaction. I'm Bob Wolverton. I'm with Pure Real Estate in Bellevue, Washington. Here on YouTube, I'm known as your Northwest Realty Advisor. Every Tuesday morning at 7 a.m., I post new videos about buying, selling, or investing in real estate, as well as some home tours and listing videos. I'll see you next week.